Hello Libra, this is your August 2018 reading um, on what you have to work on surrendering this month. I'm using the Power of Surrender deck from, um, what's her name? From Judith, Judith Orloff. Um, yeah. And then we'll clarify, we'll pull some other cards um, from the Power of Surrender deck. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, everything you need to know is in the description box below, so do keep in mind this is a general reading, so um, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, yeah, so let's get started. This is for my Libras, August 2018. Wow, that was fast. Okay. Libra. Just making sure nothing else will do. Okay. So, bottom of the deck overall energy we have is surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Yeah, so Libra, um, there's something you guys are frustrated about this month overall. This, um, keep in mind, this could apply to any um, aspect of your life. So it could be in love, um, family, work, school, um, anything whatever resonates you know um take what applies to your situation um yeah but you guys are really frustrated about something right now you know maybe something's not going your way something's not going according to plan maybe there was a setback there's some sort of block whatever it is um you know, there's like some sort of delay or some some sort of setback and you guys are frustrated. Um, just take the time, um, you know, to center yourself, to ground yourself. Um, meditation could help. Um, what else? So meditation would definitely help. Get you balanced, centered, grounded, clear your, your, your head. Maybe you guys are really up in your head right now, too, in the month of August. Got a lot of th um, thoughts going on. So, um, first card out you have is Surrender to Inner Peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So yeah, once you surrender, like, well, like I said, um, meditation would definitely help this month and, um, by surrendering frustration, uh, releasing this frustration and actually doing the work and meditating and centering yourself, um, you will be able um, to generate um, a sense of inner peace. Like You will find your, your inner peace and meditation um, will do that you know, for you. It will help you. Um, yoga even. You know, just make sure you're setting even five minutes of your day aside to, um, to just still your, um, to just silence your mind. And eventually you're going to start, you know, radiating good vibes. You're going to start coming from a much better place. You're going to start coming from a, a place of peace and understanding. Uh, 444, I just saw that. So that number might resonate with some of you, uh, you guys. Um, yeah. You know, and 
when you're when you feel good people feel that as well so when you feel good you're going to attract good basically is what I was getting at second card out we have is surrender worry Make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. Okay, yeah, so maybe um, you guys have some fears, some worries, some anxieties this month. Um, maybe you guys are frustrated over um, these worries. Maybe um, you're frustrated that you just can't, um, you know, let this anxiety go, let these worries go. But like I said, making the time and doing the work to, you know, meditate, do some sort of journaling or meditation or yoga um, or something that, that helps bring you a sense of inner peace can help you release um, these anxieties, these worries. Have faith, um, you know, that spirit is guiding you. Like the card says, spirit is, is, is always with us, always guiding us along our path. Whether, you know, we, we feel like they are or aren't. Um, you know, spirit is. You know, just be open um, for any signs and synchronicities, I feel, Libra, this month. Spirit might be trying to send you signs or synchronicities to let you know that, um, that, that you are on the right path. And that you are being guided and I feel that um, the more uh, you meditate the more you're going to start seeing these signs and synchronicities that's just what I'm feeling um, from this card you know um, just be aware try to be consciously aware um, of your thoughts um, so if you're getting any um, like anxious thoughts or any like negative thoughts um, acknowledge them and then um, release them replace them um, replace the negative thoughts with positive affirmations And I'm a firm believer in the law of attraction. So always, you know, try to keep um, positive visualizations. Visualize positive outcomes in your mind over, um, you know, whatever this situation is that you're worrying about. But um, you will be finding inner peace this this month, um, Libra, if you haven't already gotten to that, um, sense of inner peace yet. The third card out you have is surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify, and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Um, okay, yeah, so there's some fear of intimacy for, um, some of you. This could, um, maybe be with, um, this could be your other person if it's not you. But since this is your reading, I'm going to take it as this is your fear, Libra. Um, I feel, you know, I feel like it is safe for you guys to love. It's safe for you to um, to let love in, and I and you guys are ready. Maybe you're second guessing yourself, or 
um, I don't know, just, just questioning love in general this month, but I feel like, um, most of you Libras are ready for love. Maybe some of you guys, um, don't have anyone, you're not really talking to anyone, you're ready to get out there and start dating again, maybe some of you have your eye on someone. Maybe some of you are, you know, redeveloping intimacy in your relationship, if you're in one. Whatever reson uh, resonates. And this doesn't have to apply to a love situation, you know, this could just... I feel like this could apply to um, any other relationship in your life, really. There's always... I I feel like there's a certain level of, in, you know, levels of intimacy, like certain levels of intimacy you have with friends, with family, with romantic partners. Um, yeah, just try to um, identify any fears, like why 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 do you fear um intimacy so much is it something from childhood um maybe a string of bad relationships maybe one really bad relationship maybe someone really hurt you someone abandoned you could be any number of reasons why you would fear intimacy Maybe, um, just the emotional aspect of, of intimacy. I don't know. Just try to identify, um, what it is, what these fears are, any negative thought patterns or beliefs surrounding intimacy, which meditation could, um, definitely will help with. Through meditation, you could, um explore deeper into um your different fears not just fears of intimacy but i feel like you should meditate upon why um you're feeling um fearing letting love in or maybe some of you guys already have done the work and you know why, and that is why you're ready to let love in this month. I feel for some of you this month, you will have to be doing the work to surrender these fears and these worries. And I feel for some of you, you might already have been through this process and you're already at a state of inner peace. So, um, you know, I feel like it just depends on where you're at. Uh, the fourth card, oh, uh, 333. Sorry, when I see, you know, see the numbers, I just gotta say them. Um, fourth card you have is surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Um, yeah, so there's definitely a need for healing this month. The universe is supporting you. Um, we did pass the Lion's Gate portal on August 8th. Um, and that's when... Um, that's the day every year. Every year on August 8th is the Lion's Gate portal. And that's when planet Earth gets hit most strongly. Um by the loving forces of the um, universe, of the spiritual realms. We're more open and accepting to um, the healing energies of, of these realms. 
So maybe some of you guys have experienced some sort of healing this month, or you will be. Um, or through doing the work um, and meditation, you will be um, healing, healing yourself, which will lead to inner peace. But be open to any um, support in, you know, in any way, physical, emotional, spiritual. Whether that be through um, other people or, um, you know, the, the, the forces of the universe, the loving, compassionate forces of the universe, like the card says. So, you know, just, just be open to this. So let's pull from the Universe Has Your Back deck. Messages for Libra 2018. Okay. What flipped over was too many, but we got two cards already. Libra, August 2018. Oh, I do have meditation music on. I hope it's not too loud. Okay, looks like you got an extra card. Okay. Here. So, the card we got paired with um, Surrender to Inner Peace is Energy Flows Where My Intention Goes. So, yeah. Focus on um, a vibration of peace, you know. Um, this definitely talks about... Um, I just get so much manifestation and like law of attraction vibes from this. You know, what you hold um, in your mind is what you um, will manifest and what will, you know, manifest in your physical reality. So make sure um, what you're thinking about um, and what you're envisioning in your mind is what you want um you know, for you, um, for your life. Our thoughts are energy. And the universe says yes to every thought, good or bad. So make sure, you know, you're thinking... Um, and sending good thoughts to the universe and you're clearly defining and asking what it is that you want. And it doesn't mean, you know, being, you know, wishy-washy. Like, you really have to do the work and make sure that um, you're constantly, um, you know, throughout the day being aware of um, any negative or positive thoughts um, entering your mind. So any negative thoughts that come into your mind, uh, try to catch that and replace it with positive affirmations. Always keep the positive affirmations going. Um, even creating a vision board. Um, people always swear by vision boards. Get creative. Um, just make sure you're manifesting what it is that you want, Libra. The card we got with Surrender Worry is I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. So yeah, just like what I was saying, be mindful um, throughout the day. Um, be grateful Maybe even um, 
I have like a, a gratitude list. Just try to be mindful um, of your thoughts and feelings throughout the day. Know that you are love and know um, that miracles do happen every day. Um, and miracles can happen for you, Libra. Definitely. Be open to, to miracles. Be open to love. And, um, you know, the more mindful you are and the more aware um, of the thoughts that you're having, whether they're positive or negative, um, the less you're going to worry. The more you catch yourself in a negative thought, the more you're mindful and um, aware and you replace a negative thought with an affirmation, that starts becoming a habit. And then eventually you're just naturally going to start thinking positive thoughts. Your worry will subside and your physical reality will line up with that. Your physical reality will line up with your positive affirmations. Miracles will happen as a result. You know, when you're not worried, you're not you're not um, focused on the outcome. I I feel like worry has a lot to do about um, how you want the outcome of a situation to be. Just have, you know, trust um, in the divine. So uh, the card we got with surrender your fear of intimacy is when I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So maybe you feel that you have um, surrendered your fears surrounding intimacy. But um, we do have a lot of planets in retrograde still. So... Um, a lot of us are revisiting issues and fears that we thought that we let go of um, a few months ago or however long ago. Um, yeah, so just be prepared um, during, you know, this retrograde season for um, your, your fears to resurface. You know, you might feel that you have dealt with this. Um, just be prepared to surrender more. More deep emotional wounds are starting to resurface again. So just, you know, be prepared for that um, with all of these retrogrades. And just be prepared to surrender more. There's still more healing. Uh, you know, it, it's it's not just you, Libra. It's it's all the signs. Um, there's still more to learn, and there's still more to grow. So just be prepared to surrender more. Because I don't think everything has been completely healed. And it is. It is for, for, for all signs. All signs are being affected by all these planets in retrograde. Oh yeah, the bottom of the deck overall energy is hope is the conduit for miracles. So, um... Some of you guys might be feeling really hopeful this month. Um, you might still have hope for a situation where the universe um, spirit is telling you to have hope, to keep hope. I feel like a miracle is on the way for you guys this month. Or will be soon. There seems to be a theme about miracles here or you might be experiencing one you might witness one maybe 
Um, but on to the fourth card, Surrender to Complete Healing. Two cards came out. Um, first one is, In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. And the second card is, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Um, I feel like you guys should definitely um, do some meditations and work with um, the third eye chakra. Maybe um, buy some crystals that help um, strengthen the third eye chakra. You guys might be feeling very um, intuitive this month. Um, or there's a need for you to use your intuition. See, because um, the, the purpleness of this card kind of makes me think about like the crown chakra. Even um, the third eye. But I feel like the third eye is more of like um, a blue color. And I don't really think the crown chakra is like purple, but I don't know. That's what I'm feeling right now. Uh, yeah. So I feel like, um, maybe something happened in the past. There's a need to let go of a past situation or maybe, um, of your past self. Maybe some old ways. Something to do with the past. Something needs to be let go. Um, this must have to do with a person, maybe, because it's it's talking about a person. Now, this could be in love. This could be a friendship. This could be whoever. Whatever resonates. Whatever you're thinking about. This, you know, this moment. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Yeah, I feel like you're you're going to be seeing an old situation through new eyes. Through more understanding, more 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 compassionate. Maybe seeing the bigger picture of things. I feel like um you're wreath thinking um or you're viewing a past situation differently maybe more compassionately i, I don't know and then this card yeah Again, just try to make time for um, daily, you know, meditation or prayer, some sort of contemplation, some sort of um, act of stillness, some, um, you know, quieting of the mind. That'll help you get more in a state of love, of, um, in a state of more loving awareness. Which could also help you, um, you know, view the past through, um, you know, let go of the past and view the situation or this person through, um, the first, like, time again, essentially, by seeing someone or this situation through the eyes of love with um through through compassion yeah just know that 
And any moment, any time, any day, any night, you can surrender to the universe, to, to love by, you know, prayer, by being still, by contemplating, by meditation. When you, you know, quiet the mind, the answers will, will come. The answers you seek are within you. So, yeah. Whatever this past situation was, I feel like um, it's being healed. I feel like you're being healed. This other person's being healed. The situation's being healed. Some sort of healing's coming. In August, Libra. You know, but make sure uh, you're doing the work that you have to do this month. And the universe is definitely um, going to do its part. Don't be afraid to um, connect with um, the divine through, um, you know, prayer, through meditation. Be open to any messages. You know, your intuition is going to be uh, pretty high this month. So, yeah. I hope this resonated or this made sense to someone out there. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe if this did resonate or you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, I'll be back soon with another reading for you guys, Libra. So, until then, bye.